Hello, Gabe Heller here with another Xbox Live Indie Arcade Game Spotlight. This one's on a game called Laser Cat, which is an excellent name for a game. I like the splash screen. It's simple, but fun. Let's begin the fantastic adventure. That's interesting. Uh, that wasn't the start button, that was the A button that worked. In the not-too-distant future, at the edge of the solar system, in a tiny cottage on a tiny planetoid, lived Lizard Cat and Owl. In the garden, they grew space onions and astro carrots, which they made into delicious soup for all their friends to share. One day, after coming home from the market, Lizard Cat couldn't find Owl anywhere, not in the kitchen, the living room, the vestibule, or even the disco dungeon. There was a note in the scullery. I, Wizard, the magic space frog, have taken your, your precious Owl friend to my magic space castle. The ransom for high his her release is one million British pounds sterling. You have until tea time to pay up, Wizard the Magic Space Frog. Oh no! exclaimed Laser Cat. I don't have a million British pounds sterling. Looks like I'll have to save Owl myself. And with that, the story of Laser Cat begins. So yeah, your laser cat. Uh, if you've ever played a game like this before, this will look very familiar. Um, there are screens. You go from screen to screen. You will notice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the aspect ratio is screwed on this one. Otherwise, that would be an extremely yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've got we've got uh, aspect ratio issues in widescreen. So I'm gonna have to make this a uh, a full screen video, which you will have noticed by now. Welcome to Wizard's Castle. Entrance, five British pounds sterling. <laughs> okay, so there's a map. Oh, okay. Interesting. I never tried the map before. Oh, no. Sorry. No, no, not, not, not I just want to... Okay, resume. I just wanted to quit the map, not the game. Alrighty, here we are. These are blocks that you can jump through. And you have to avoid all of the red enemies that are marked as enemies by being red. Those things push you up, and that's how you move from screen to screen. Oh, there are also signs. Welcome to the Riddle Realm, what is considered to be the most dangerous animal in Africa? The hippo, the polar bear, or the giraffe? I'm pretty sure it's the hippo. Um, so I actually have to go to A. It doesn't let me press a button. Yay! Okay, I appear to have gotten the key by answering trivia. If you die while holding a key, you lose it! Use checkpoints to store them. I think this is a checkpoint. Checkpoint! Remember to store a checkpoint. I don't... I guess... I think that's automatic. On the other hand, what happened to my key? Did it get stored at the checkpoint? That was weird. Maybe that was just for info. And it wasn't a real key. Don't touch the sides. That's the top and bottom. I don't want to touch any of this. But notice, I don't think I can even jump high enough to get onto that block. Maybe I can. Just barely. Let's see what happens. Nope. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, I got onto this one. Oh gosh, that's like, that's as far as I could possibly jump, I think. Oh, wait, if it, wait maybe if when this is at the top. Nope! <laughs> I touched the sides. You died, frowny face. Press A button. I pressed the A button. I don't know if it matters. Maybe I can press a different button. Okay, what's up here? Oh, more lava. Oh, oh my goodness, those are very fast conveyor belts. Oh no! I died. So I'm back at the checkpoint. I don't have that key. Maybe I answered the trivia question wrong? I assumed it was the hippo, but maybe it is the giraffe. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god! <laughs> They're so fast! Your soul has returned to the nexus. Press a button. Okay, well, maybe I should go to the left instead. And that's one of these adventure games with mini screens. Oh, wait, I went up. I don't want to go up. I want to go this way. What's over here? Lots of blobby things. Brush your teeth every day, I guess, or blobby things may be in your teeth. 
Hey, hey. So I can warp? Oh, interesting. Hmm. I just warped where I was. Uh, how do I get up there? I have no idea. Maybe I can only get down there. What's down here? Lots of enemies. Out here it is snowing. Up this way. Oh no! Triangles! Red and therefore enemy triangles. There's a checkpoint here. If I can get to it. Go home, laser cat! Uh oh. Pest control has failed, huh? There's all kinds of vaguely humorous signs and text in this game. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! No, 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 that's worse! Okay. Um, here? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, boy, that's that's really hard to get off of there, toss the, the right way, anyway. Jumping from one screen to another can be problematic, because if you don't... You jump higher if you hold the button down longer. Okay, so I want to go here, and I want to go here. I'm just going to sit in this for a while and try to figure out how the heck I'm going to get over there. There we go. And there's a key. You want a key? Then I have a question for you. In what year did the Battle of Hastings take place? That would be 1066. Let me guess. This is a British game. Okay. So what do I do with this key? I guess I fall down through many screens with very scary lava and things to here. There's a checkpoint. Oh, okay. So I guess you just you just store the keys and then notice how many keys you have. But I have zero keys. Keys left? I don't understand. Oh, that'd be keys hold in my inventory, perhaps? Okay, let's try going right this time. Avoiding these flappy bee things. What is over here? Oh, this is where we started. What's down from where we started? Oh no. Oh, maybe it was where we started. No, no, it can't have been. That's what the map is for. Ah, there we are. Oh, okay. That's all we have time for. So that was Laser Cat. It's that kind of game. There used to be a bunch of games of this kind. I forget exactly the names of any of them, but I remember playing some of them when I was a kid. So if you remember those games from when you were a kid, or find just the fact that it's a game starring a laser cat to be worthwhile, then you might want to buy this game.